on the surface this is just another boat against a low summer sun however the reason i'm showing this image here is not that the image itself is spectacular it really has to do with a sort of thinking process and why it, why i took this particular photograph and it has to do with this tugboat and the idea that there are bits and pieces of our cities or the world around us that get all the glamour. So, for example, you can go to this wonderful dinner that's been arranged and there are all these wonderful people there and you're chatting with all these wonderful people. And then you realize the reason it can happen, the reason everything operates so smoothly is because of the so-called invisible people. They're not invisible, but you see them, but you don't talk to them. You, they give you stuff, they take stuff away. And these tugboats are very much like that. So if you live in Amsterdam and you spend any time near the water, at some point you will see one of these tugboats. And they're all called Port of Amsterdam, one, two, three, four, and all that. Um, during the tourist season, you often see them quite early in the morning as they lead the cruise ships in to the cruise ship terminal. Uh, often later on in the day as they take the ships away. Sometimes they just, um, you see them moving around, grabbing bits and pieces out of the water. I saw once a door panel that had been floating in the water and then one of these boats comes and scoops it up. Um, another slightly geeky aspect of all this is that if you are near them, uh, there's a pier that I mention a lot, Pier 14, Steicher 14. Sometimes these boats come around and the engine on these things is ridiculous because once they rev that thing up, it's not that it makes a lot of noise, but the vibrations, they go through the water and hit the wooden pier and they end up, you know, shaking your own chest. And then every so often, and this is once in a long, long while, and I don't know what the reasons for this are, these same tugboats can squirt water uh, or is it squirt, spurt, whatever, send water into these wonderful arcs really high. They have these very powerful hoses or water jets on them. And you will suddenly see people staring at something and looking at this thing. And then you realize, oh, it's the tugboat because the tugboat is putting on a show. And if you're lucky to have the tugboat put on one of its water shows and the sun is right, you just get these rainbows everywhere and you hear people saying, ooh, ah, ooh, ah. And finally, they, they do notice those boats because there are hundreds and hundreds of boats crossing the water all the time. But these seem to be the least, um, no, I can't say that. I think they're the least, uh, some of the least known, well-known or respected boats. I don't know how many people take photographs of them. Um, but they are there and they serve a very uh, sensible purpose or useful purpose and for me they're just a reminder of all the things that we forget to see that make our lives a lot better.